this Jack Burton and Carolina has a touchdown. They're like, oh, well, we need real players. Oh, okay. So, you need a quarterback? Sure. Another opportunity. Spins out of a sack. Throws it to the back of the end zone. He's got his man. Touchdown, New Orleans. He's gone. Top 30. He's gone, baby. My goodness. Somebody cool off that man's feet because they're on fire. This is going to explode big time. The SFL Network on Twitch welcomes you to the following presentation of the Simulation Football League. Tekka for uh, S Simulation Football League action. Coming to you live from Mexico City. This week it's Mexico City versus the St. Louis Gladiators. Mexico City is at the top of the, uh, the standings and uh, St. Louis finds himself at the bottom. I am your play-by-play -play analyst Stephen Hacker alongside the color commentary uh, Jeremy Vega. Uh, Jeremy, do you have any key points for today's game? Yeah, Stephen, um, if you're the Aztecs, just keep letting your two stars on offense, Matt Wilson and Ray Bentley, do their thing. Both are having tremendous seasons. Both are having MVP-like seasons. And uh, for the Gladiators, you know, you haven't won a game, that's okay. Last week against Vegas, you played your best game. Look to build off of that, be aggressive, throw caution into the wind. You have nothing to lose at this point. Just come out here and give it your all. Down to midfield for the coin toss. It should be a, a fairly good game, I mean, uh, Get a chance, like you said, to see what uh, he has to offer. I, you know, I like some of the names on the St. Louis Gladiators depth chart. Yeah, and despite the Gladiators' 0-7 record, they got a lot of a lot of playmakers on their team. Honestly, uh, you know, their defense is is far better than their offense this season. They do do great things defensively, but offensively they do struggle. But like I said, they still got playmakers on both sides of the ball. So. For the Aztecs, I don't think they're coming into this game thinking it's going to be an easy W at all. How about those orange uniforms right now? And what are your thoughts on those? The throwback to the Santa Fe Gorilla days for the Aztecs franchise. They made an SFL championship. Their, uh, their, their expansion season as the Gorillas uh, eventually lost the DC Dragons. We all know that story. And the return is brought out to the 23-yard line. So that's where the Gladiators are going to take over. And we'll get our first look at Noah Johns, uh, quarterback for the Gladiators. And I think the Gladiators are really going to have to get uh, Diesel Dawson going and, and find a way to, to keep, uh, keep the defense honest so they can set up the wide receivers and get the passing game going. Johns is going to be under center, two wide receivers to the right. And takes a quick drop, looks to his right, fires, and that one's off the hands of the defender, almost into the receiver's hand, the ball's incomplete. Yeah, Noah Johns looking to go deep early. That ball was a little underthrown there. Uh, it's okay, though, first pass of the game, nothing to worry about. And I completely agree with you, Diesel Dawson still pretty fresh going into his uh, just his fifth game today uh, as a rookie running back, and I would like to see them get him going as well. Gladiators now maybe looking to throw off the Aztecs, come out with five wide receivers, four wide receivers. Deep shot down the middle is complete. That was going to be the tight end, Cody Scott. He's got the first down and more. And when you see the Aztecs come out and man defense, I think Noah Johns needs to almost every time look for Cody Scott. He's a, he's a great wide receiver, and he'll be matched up on the linebacker, which is obviously a mismatch, so we'll see if they keep going towards him. Eight yards shy in midfield. Noah Johns in the shotgun. Dawson to his left. Decent pressure by the by the Aztecs. That pass is complete to the right side and gets a first down. Didn't quite get the number on the receiver, but a great play by the Gladiators. Yeah, another great throw from Noah Johns over to Kevin Flynn uh, for a first down. And Noah Johns, two straight completions. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far here on their first drive. Yeah, week eight signing is Kevin Flynn. Made it from the couch to the field, and now here it is, first and ten. 
And they're going to hand off to Dawson, his first carry of the game. He's going to file forward for two yards, stopped uh, by a gang of, I want to say gorillas, but I know it's Aztec. Yeah, it's going to be tough to call it either way today. Uh, they look good in those uniforms, though. Yeah, really nice, really nice selection here. Second, a Johns is under center. Two wide receivers to the left. It's going to be another handoff to Dawson. He's got room up the middle. Big gain gets about 12 yards before he's finally brought down by the Aztec secondary. That was just great blocking up front, something the Gladiators are probably uh, happy to see. They come into today's game ranked 16th in rushing, uh, and, and ripping off big games like games like that is going to help you a lot. Yeah, you got to really set up the run to, to open up your receivers. And look at the Aztecs. They're, they're loose on the on the outside against the receivers. Johns is back to throw, evades the pressure. Oh, but he's finally sacked. I thought they were going to pick up the pressure, but Johns held on to it just for a little bit too long, and that's Esteban uh, that's going to get the sack. Now second and long, second and 18. The Aztecs with, with uh, three defensive linemen. The Gladiators are in the shotgun. Johns with plenty of time steps up in the pocket, makes a short throw off the hands of the receiver, falls incomplete. And the pressure from the, from the Aztecs front line so far uh, looking really good. It's pressure twice, twice in a row, and that's going to put you know the Gladiators in a deep third down. A third and long as you get a look there at Nick Finch wide receiver for the gladiators again with the bunch to the left out of the shotgun for the gladiators here obvious passing situation Johns has time to throw it takes a deep shot but that one's gonna be intercepted down at about the 16 yard line and that's where the Aztecs are gonna take over yeah, and they got Jeffrey Daggs there picking up a great interception. Almost went over his head, but that's going to be Jeffrey Daggs' 30th career interception, which is pretty amazing from this young player. And so the Gladiators came out with some positive momentum, but uh, the interception there stops stops any points and now we get a look at matt wilson quarterback for the aztecs alone in the shotgun fires it over the middle a quick slant and it's going to be caught for a first down yeah and that's the bronze bomber accuracy right there uh as i said earlier he's just having a tremendous season he's coming in today's game second in yards fifth in completion percentage first in touchdowns first in qbr he's just having a tremendous season possibly his best season in his career and another look there at Matt Wilson. Ray Bentley is the running back behind uh, Matt Wilson right now. First and 10, they'll throw a swing pass to Ray Bentley, who's got room to run, tries to spin at the end of the play, but after the first down, he's brought down by Ethan Kai, the safety. And those swing routes to running back Ray Bentley is something you're gonna see a lot in this game, as we've seen a lot over the course of the season, Ray Bentley has 81 receptions on the season, which is second in halfbacks and wide receivers across the entire league. They love to use him in the flats. Yeah, he has quite a few reception touchdowns as well. I believe he's at the top, uh, near the top of the reception touchdown category. Wilson with a quick drop down, or a quick check down, it falls incomplete. Look, I believe he's looking for the backup tight end there. Should have been an easy throw, but just off target. Yeah, it's going to be to Misa Hiros, who just a little, uh, little miscommunication there. While we have a quick pause here, let's go through the Mexico City Aztecs offense. They have number 12, Matt Wilson, number 28, Ray Bentley, which is the running back, wide receiver Matt Gibbs, KL Barrett, Richard Montague, and tight end Mike Dagg. Second, 10, Wilson's under center, a three-step drop. Moves up in the pocket, throws over. No, and that one's intercepted by St. Louis, and he's got room to run. Oh, if Ethan Kai could have just got past that one offensive lineman, he could have uh, been a real dangerous threat for pick six there. Yeah, I think the pressure from the Gladiators' defensive line 
got to Matt Wilson there, and he rushed the throw, and I don't think he saw Ethan Kai when he was trying to hit his receiver coming across the middle. And that's a great turnover for the Gladiators, and uh, they're set up with some great field position. Yeah, two great defensive plays by some uh, safeties today here early. The Gladiators now have the ball. They're at the 32-yard line. Noah Johns is in the shotgun. Diesel Dawson to his right. Steps up and, oh, and he's hit as he throws. Did he get rid of it? No, he was sacked. Couldn't get rid of the ball. And another sack early for Guapo Esteban. Yeah, two sacks in the first quarter, four for his season. And this pass rush is getting to Noah Johns early. And they're going to have to make some adjustments because that cannot happen throughout the course of this game if they want to win it. In the Aztecs with three down linemen. Noah Johns doesn't like something, changes it up. They bring five, the Aztecs do. And a short pass completed for three yard gain. Badir Ajilani with the catch. Yeah, and I think Noah Jones missed his receiver to the top of the screen. Just